What's going on YouTube, 0088 here, and we are about to react to Venom Let There Be Carnage trailer. It just dropped today, I was not expecting it. Uh, so this is going to be about Carnage, Cletus Cassidy character, and obviously my first time experiencing him, the Carnage was in the 1990s in the animated Spider-Man series, and Carnage was like the extra evil version of Eddie Brock and Venom. Obviously Eddie Brock sort of becomes an anti-hero and uh, sometimes even works with Spider-Man. Speaking of Spider-Man, this is why I didn't go to watch Venom in the cinema. Uh, I just ended up watching it on TV and it, it really annoyed me that they left out the lore. The most important part of Venom to me is how he becomes Venom from the symbiote absorbing all of Spider-Man's powers and his memories and his personality and then the symbiote having like this essentially a divorce from Peter Parker and Spider-Man and moving on to his new man Venom and then he, and then they both hate Peter Parker that's that's their driving force because without Peter Parker Venom's an anti-hero and I guess that's what they're, they're exploring now in the sequel which is maybe why I'm a bit more excited about the sequel than I was for the original because the evilness of Venom we didn't get to explore that and I don't know how they're gonna present now that Venom has become an anti-hero if they do bring Spider-Man into his universe or Venom into the MCU I don't know how they're gonna explore that maybe it's gonna be like a little rivalry and they end up working together at the end or something like those old storylines because the hatred for Peter Parker they're gonna have to go back and do that again and then it's just weird that Venom has all his powers the reason why Venom webs around he's got that the spider symbol there and the reason why he webs around and has all the powers that he does, the reason why he has the eyes that he does, is because he comes from Spider-Man. I just always hated that they're trying to have Venom without Spidey and it's just annoying. You know? But anyway, enough of my thoughts on the idea of this franchise about Spider-Man. Let's watch the trailer with an open mind. Let's check out Cletus Cassidy if we even see him that much. And Woody Harrison is good casting. I hope he has his red crazy hair otherwise I'll be pissed. Let's watch. Because up. Rules, no eating people. <laughs> yeah. Damn, that's loud. I say either. You I say either. I say neither. And I say neither. Either. Either. Neither. Let's call the whole thing off. Ta-da. Guess what? Excuse me. Ew. Yummy. Yummy. He sounds just—he sounds just like the one from the video game. Good evening, Eddie. Hey, Mrs. Chen. The original Spider-Man game. Hi, Mrs. Chen. He says hi. Man, Sony takes everything from the animated series. You hit a spider, what's that mean? They got his hair. Perfect casting. That's supposed to be like he's getting his uh, the lethal injection. Oh, that was sick. That was a sick shot. Oh shit. Carnage. Let there be carnage. I didn't watch the first one in the cinema. Might have to check this one out though still. They look like they were in the church where the Venom symbiote fell on on uh, Venom on Eddie Brock. Uh, that looked really good, actually. 
looked funny. Venom's more of an anti-hero now, like he was in the comics after he had a, after he was the villain against Spider-Man. Shame we didn't get to see that arc, but you know they can always go backwards, I guess. Uh, yeah, looks good, man. Woody Harrelson's Cletus Cassidy sick casting looks good, and he hit the spider. That was like probably one of the most interesting bits because that's like a little hint, like. Oh, he doesn't like spiders. Is like you know what that means. A metaphor for Spider-Man, and is Spider-Man gonna come in? I don't know. No way home. Sony and Marvel got a deal going on with Spider-Man. I don't know. Will they have their own Spider-Man? Will he come in? Will they come into the MCU? I doubt they'll come into the MCU. It's too violent. Feige and Disney won't allow it. I love. The, I love the idea that they put in the lethal injection in him, and it actually is. Uh, carnage and messing him up, that's just sick, that's hard. And yeah, Venom is quite funny speaking Chinese or Mandarin or whatever to the lady in the shop. Like, you can see that he's really part of Eddie Brock, really a partnership there, you know. And uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how they, how they play this one out. Uh, I like it, you know, I might have to check this one out still. I might have to check it out in the cinema. Um, now that there's Covid, things are opening up now in the UK, so yeah, there's a lot of films to catch up on. Uh, I'm gonna check this out. Anyway, that's my reaction. If you liked it, give us a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for notifications, and I'll see you again. Peace.